So what made that made us start this uh, restaurant was because we had an existing uh, customer base and they were um, always looking to have a place where they can uh, quickly order some food and uh, either come here and have it or get it delivered. So that's the reason why we thought, okay, let's start this because we are anyway doing it on a pre-order basis. Let's start this and just um, after the lockdown, uh, in June, on the 7th of June, we uh, officially opened our little uh, cafe, restaurant, um, just, uh, it's just a small place with the two of us uh, working um, and um, yeah, so that's, the, uh, that's when we started it. And what's my personal favorite dish? It's very difficult to pick one, but uh, it's my uh, mock meat ham and cheese sandwich. Um, so the ham is um, made out of wheat gluten and um, it has a slight smoky taste to it as well. Um, and also the cheese is again uh, homemade with uh, coconut milk um, because we have plenty of coconuts around uh, even at home. And uh, we normally for our own household use, we use our own homegrown coconuts. And uh, anyway, uh, cashews are a little bit expensive, so that's the reason why I'm using coconut milk for our cheeses. So that is my personal favorite dish um, from the different types of dishes available. Um, yeah, so um, today um, we decided to, uh, from today onwards, to uh, talk to you all a, a little bit about different items uh, which we can use. Uh, so, uh, we have recently uh, introduced these uh, dehydrated uh, products and here in my hand at the moment we have dehydrated um, karavila or bitter goat. Um, so, we all know that in Sri Lanka bitter goat is something uh, which we love to eat but in the fried format. Um, this dehydrated one is itself crispy and um, we can use it just like how we use uh, it in our um, samples where we can use this and put it, uh, mix it with some uh, onions, uh, some green chili and some tomatoes, add some lime juice uh, and also some salt and pepper and it will become an amazing accompaniment for a rice puller um, during our lunch or dinner times. So uh, this is one which we have introduced recently. Uh, along with this we have introduced uh, many different items like uh, carrot chips, um, apple chips, things like that as well. Um, so if you, again, we can customize according to your needs and requirements. So if you can let us know about two days in advance or three days in advance, we can make um, any of these uh, uh, fruits or vegetables in the dried format and uh, make it available for you. And also here, again we have uh, for you some uh, dehydrated uh, Morinia leaves. Again, um, this is again an, uh, known as one of the superfoods um, and around the world there is a huge uh, demand for these. We find these uh, very freely um, in Sri Lanka and uh, unfortunately due to our busy lifestyles it's a little difficult for us to um, try it and uh, eat it in uh, different, different formats. So um, what we are doing it is we are selling it in this dried format um, so that you can use it like tea leaves. So for a hot glass of water uh, or cup of water you can put in a few of these leaves and uh, let it steam for a few minutes just like the tea leaves and then we can consume it so um, there are many health benefits um, with this uh, Morinia leaves so our uh, cup of Morinia tea has been steaming for some time um, so this uh, particular uh, Tea um, with infused uh, or hot water infused with Morinia leaves has uh, seven times more vitamin C than oranges, and also it has 
um, more potassium, uh, 15 times more potassium than uh, in bananas, and also it has iron, calcium, amino acids, and all kinds of other health benefits uh, which we can easily have. So, um, if we are following a specific uh, diet, or if we are vegans and or vegetarians or are concerned about our health, we can always have uh, these uh, Molina leaves.